Good morning, students. This is Mr. Asif Khan, our science teacher. Students, today we are going to start our new lesson that is useful animal. Likewise, plant animal are also very useful for us. And a number of animal we are use as a food. And a number of product we are get from the animals. So let's see how animals useful for us. Animals are very useful for us in a food. In a food, animals is play a very important role in our life. So we get very different food items like meat, meat, paneer, like this daily product we are get from the animals. For example, buffalo, cow, give the milk and by using this milk we are make a different kind of daily product like paneer, ghee and milk. This daily product we are used as a food. Students, both provide us meat and eggs. Bird is also animals and birds we are used as a food. Let's see rearing of birds like hen, dove for meat and eggs is called as poultry farming. Rearing of birds like hen, dove for meat and eggs called as poultry farming. By the process of poultry farming, we get meat of bird and eggs of hen. Some other animals like goat, fish give us meat. The production and management of fish is called as pisciculture. Likewise, the production of hen is called as poultry farming. Likewise, same, the production of fish is called as pisciculture. The production and management of fish is called as pisciculture. Honey bees provide us honey which is good source of nutrients. The honey bees provide us honey and this honey is the good source of nutrients. And the rearing of honey bees for commercial production of honey is called as apiculture. The rearing of honey bees for production of honey. The rearing of honey bee for production of honey is called as apiculture. What is mean by apiculture? So I repeat once again the rearing of honey bees for production of honey is called as apiculture. The Different animals is used for the fibers. We get five. We get also fibers from animals. We get fibers like wool, silk from animals. Silk we get from the silkworm, and fibers we get from the different animals like sheep, goat, yak. Give us wool. Wool we are give us from the sheep. And the process of removing of hair from this animal is called as shearing. The process of removing of hair from sheep, goat and yak is called as shearing process. Now the silk culture that means silk obtained from the silk and rearing of silk worm for obtaining silk is called as silk culture. Likewise, pesticulture, apiculture is one of the process of silk culture. Rearing of silk worm 
for production of silk is called as sericulture now the next one point is other valuable production and other uses of animal we will discuss in the next spread i hope you all are got it about the pisciculture sericulture and apiculture